Was I on some time war bullshit? Ain't no way, boy. All right. So, still completely stock. Still got the stock uh, guide rod and spring in there. Well, I say completely stock. Minus the optic, clearly. So, I'm going to be about 10 yards. Uh, no. It's about five six yards i don't know something like that we could be kind of precise but uh yeah i'm like five six yards away so what i want to do is just engage the target here and try to get a little bit quicker with my shots since i know that relatively the green dot is pretty on so i'm going to try to speed up my shots here and see how much felt recoil affects my shot placement then i'll go ahead and swap out with that aftermarket guide rod and spring combo from galloway precision and see if it helps control that at all so i don't know if this is a great test for it but in my mind the faster i shoot the more recoil is going to affect my uh, shot placement because i'm not taking my time to overcome that recoil so yeah, let's just go for it instead of me talking and running my suck. Alright. <clears throat> so, alright, here we go. Ten shots. Alright. So, uh, overall, not too bad. I didn't fire as quickly as possible, clearly, but, uh, for just popping them off, all of them right there, dead center in the chest. So this is about, you know, my hand. And it, again, remember guys, I have sausage fingers. So this is actually smaller than what most men <laughs> would uh, would have. So you guys' hands would be a little bit out here. But, uh, but yeah, so that's better for me because I'm more accurate this way. So yeah, all the shots right there, dead center of the chest. Can't ask for more. And like I said, that was about five, six yards, which is, even still probably further than most of your self-defense scenarios are going to be so honestly you're going to get into an altercation this dude's up in my freaking face he's talking trash i'm trying to like you know de-escalate if i can i'm not trying to go out and just look for trouble and stuff so this guy's yelling at me we're talking i'm backing up he freaking uh see down there see this little pistol right here dude draws down on me i pull out engage so realistically i'm like right here so Boom. Still right here in the center where I got to go clear. And uh, yeah. So that re realistically, most of your engagements are going to be within probably two arms length. So double arms distance away from somebody. Because initially you're going to be up here in your confrontation. You're either going to push and back away or you're just going to back away yourself. So right here is where most of your engagements are going to be. So uh, I'm pretty happy with that. I'm going to go ahead and swap out this guy rod and spring, pasty up a new target up here and see if it uh, affects anything at all or just feels better. Because I mean, I don't really see how much more accurate you can get. I mean, that was pretty, pretty legit for uh, a pistol that I'm just now uh, getting to know. So there's that. All right, guys, I'm going to swap this guide spring out real quick, and then I'll get back with you. I can't show you that on uh, YouTube, but it's you just swap the spring out. It's pretty freaking standard. All right, be right back, guys. All right, my dudes. So I have my upgraded Galloway Precision guide rod and spring with a 10% increase in stiffness, which supposedly aids in recoil management so i got a new target placed up out here as you see i'm just gonna point gangster style so i don't have a laser pointer so there's my uh, new target right there i'm gonna go ahead and get five to six yards again and uh see if i can feel any difference in recoil at all which is what this uh, guide rod and spring has promised me it will help mitigate some of that felt recoil all right Da, 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 da. and let me get my uh sights lined up right quick all right lined up and go oh god so uh i don't know if that was me but i shot worse with this <laughs> 
<laughs> it was probably just me. But I mean, I still freaking own this dude for the most part. I mean, I got a couple of outliers right here in the neck and uh, his shoulder. But hey, I'm still going to call that uh, incapacitated that fool. So uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Yep. All right, cool. So uh, all my shots were right there. Uh, yeah, I didn't really notice a change in felt recoil. I mean, again, that's just one mag. I'm going to get a little bit closer here and see uh, see what we can do. I don't know. It was probably just me, but uh, I don't. I, I didn't notice anything different. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and shoot again because why not, right? All right, clear. Again, all the rounds right in the center. I think I nicked dude. No, that's the same shot. Uh, I was about to say, I freaking keyholed. Or, that's, sorry, that's not what keyhole means. I freaking went through the same hole. All right, no, but I didn't. So all shots are right here. And again, most of my shots are concentrated in this center ring here. And again, the whole entire thing is, you know, the same size as my freaking palm fingertip span. So overall, pretty accurate with this pistol with the, uh, the green dot. Could I be a little bit faster? Could I be a little bit more accurate? Of course, as we all can. I'm still learning this pistol. I've had it for, you know, just over, I don't know, just over, what, two, three weeks now? Whenever I did the initial review, I got it like two days, two, three days before that. So I haven't had it that long. And honestly, this is my first time shooting it with the green dot. I only shot it a couple rounds uh, with the included iron sights so i'm still learning this weapon so i'm pretty happy with that uh, i'm gonna go ahead and attempt to change out this trigger apparently it is quite the job <laughs> but youtube is my friend and there's a video from galloway precision on there so i'm gonna go ahead and give it a whirl and see what happens all right guys i'll be right back